This is Rock and Roll Roots with Steve Pallet. All right, take the ball. Hands off to Honey. The thing's pathetic the way uh, these policemen line up. There is no question about it. Oswald has been a shot. Oh, there's a bell, Alberto Pell. I shall not seek, and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. And the final score at the stadium tonight, the Braves 8 and the St. Louis Cardinals 6. Hi. I'm Chuck Berry. Now let's go back and rock with some of the all-time greats of rock and roll. Rock and roll roots on 96.5 WKLH and WKLH HD. Milwaukee's hometown rock. A Milwaukee radio group station. I met you in some Milwaukee's hometown rock. 96.5 WKLH Rock and Roll Roots Rockin' Me and Jungle Love. Couple tunes from our Roots Salute artist this morning, Steve Miller. Every year we change the show. There's a lot of material. I think we've done 23 or 4 albums total. So we have lots of material to choose from and we'd like to change it up every year and you know we like to change our stage we like to change the songs that we play and that's what keeps it interesting for our audience you know, we have a lot of fans that come to see us every year and we're always trying to give them something new that's steve miller morning i'm steve pallick and welcome to another edition of rock and roll roots live from the klh complex in the heart of milwaukee brought to you by we energies and potawatomi hotel and casino we've got three hours of great music for you this morning at our roots Salute artist is a Milwaukee native. Steve Miller. Once I visited my cousin in Milwaukee, USA. I came from a musical family and I have a good ear and a, you know my mom had a had a wonderful voice. She sounded a lot like Ella Fitzgerald, was a great jazz singer, and her brothers were all really good musicians. Steve Miller was born here in Milwaukee as a matter of fact. His father and Les Paul were good friends. Yep. And uh, I just would like to say that he had a boy five years old. And he used to say, hey, Pop, where are you going tonight? He says, I'm going down to here, Les Paul and Mary Ford. And so he says, can I bring my son down? And he did. <laughs> he brought the son down. And the guy says, gee, Dad, I'd like to be like him someday. And I'd like to introduce him to you now. Steve Miller. Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots from 965 WKLH. Six five WKLH Rock Roll Roots. That's our Roots salute artist this morning, Steve Miller. It was 1956. Nobody'd seen rock and roll bands, and we were a rock and roll trio. And I immediately graphed a letter and I sent it to all the country clubs, all the fraternities, all the sororities, all the college groups, anybody that had all the religious groups, anybody that ever had dances. I said I've got a band. This is how much it costs. And, you know, six weeks later, I was telling my mother, no, you don't understand. I have a contract. I have to be at the Sacred Heart Church at Sunday night at 8 o'clock because I have a job there. <laughs> Steve Miller. We'll be hearing more from him and his family as the morning progresses. Well, all right, everybody. Hey, I'm Steve Pally. Good to have you along for Rock and Roll Roots. Happy Mother's Day to you. By the way, if you haven't heard, we lost a true rock and roll legend. That is Little Richard. Little Richard passed away of bone cancer. You want to know how influential he was? Listen to his guitarist. His guitarist there is an employee. A very young Jimi Hendrix. a very young Steve 
Steve Miller. You hear the Steve Miller band. Common His family moved to Dallas in 1950, but in 1962, Steve Miller came back to Wisconsin to go to the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Traveled the world after that, including time in Chicago. When it was time for me to leave Chicago, I was going to San Francisco to go see what the Fillmore Auditorium thing was all about. And I was going to put a band together out in the West Coast, and Buddy told me, he said, Steve, you know, when you get out there, call it the Steve Miller Band. He said, you're going to have lots of different musicians you're going to work with in, in your lifetime, and you don't want to get into a situation where if one guy leaves the band, it breaks everybody's heart. Buddy Guy, with some good advice for our Roots Salute artist this morning, Steve Miller, on Rock and Roll Roots, from 96.5 WKLH. Ninety six five WKLH Rock and Roll Roots. And Steve Miller, a Roots salute artist this morning. Let's talk about his induction into the Hall of Fame, which occurred in 2016. It was kind of a mess. He wanted Elton John to induct him, and the Hall said no. They chose the Black Keys. Steve Miller didn't even know who they were. When they told me I was inducted, they said you can have two tickets, one for your wife and one for yourself. Want another one? It's ten thousand dollars. Sorry, that's the way it goes. He said, "I'm playing here. What about my band? What about their wives? What about?" They make this so unpleasant that they came this close. They came. You know, we're not going to wrap this one up. I'm going to wrap you up. <laughs> you go sit down over there and learn something. So here's here's what you need to know. This is how close this whole show came to not happening because of the way the artists were actually being treated right now. This is from 1965. The Goldberg Miller Blues Band with Barry Goldberg. So he and Steve Miller go way back. What did you think of Steve Miller's comments at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, you know, some of it was really well taken and important that he said it, you know. Uh, he's very outspoken and uh, on the side of, of the musicians, you know, and the performers. Uh, and there's, some, there's some, something wrong with every situation, politically, always, you know. So what he said, uh, I thought, was in, in the most part really valid. And uh, I have great relationship with Steve. He's a great guitar player, T-Bone Walker style, Texas blues. And uh, that, that's how I felt about it. Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots from 96.5 WKLH. I can't cool down. 96.5 WKLH Rock and Roll Roots. That's Steve Miller from his fifth album. Now, he had been playing gigs since he was a little kid and cranking out albums, and in 1973, it all paid off. We would do like 300 gigs a year then. You know, we left the tour, the record came out, and by the time the tour was over and we got back, we had a number one record, and it was being played. I remember driving to go to a concert in San Francisco when we got back, and it was on five radio stations at the same time. Some people call me the Space Cowboy. It was heard all over the world. Some call me the gangster of love Some people call me Maury Because I feed of the bumpages of love the thing I think about the Joker was that was my first number one hit single. I was at a party, it was about midnight. I was on the hood of a car. I uh, had little parts and pieces of it and uh, was working on it. And it was kind of a full moon. It was a pretty funny kind of night. And uh, it all came together that night and recorded it a few weeks later. Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots. Some people call me the space cowboy Yeah You're the cutest thing I ever did see Really love your peaches Wanna shake your tree 
96.5 WKLH. Rock and roll roots. That's a roots salute artist this morning. Steve Miller, a song that was all over the radio in the 70s. The family song has uh, got another big weekend of entertainment for you. If you've been waiting to see the Young Bloods. Tonight's the night. It's a little bit of radio in the 60s and San Francisco. There tonight and tomorrow night, appearing with the Young Bloods commander Cody. And Steve Miller. When I showed up in San Francisco, we were tight as a tick. It was really a good band. And these other guys would stand around and like tune their guitars for 10 minutes between numbers. <laughs> but while they were doing that, Jerry Garcia would be telling some great story, you know. And it was more interesting to listen to him talk than it was to listen to him play. Here's Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots from 96.5 WKLH. She's a quicksilver girl. WKLH Rock and Roll Roots. That's Steve Miller. He's had an amazing career. All in all, it's been very remarkable, and I never really imagined that I would have this kind of longevity. This is what I always wanted. I always wanted to be a musician for my entire life and to be able to produce good shows and draw audiences and do this, you know. I started, you know, when I was four years old. I had my first band when I was 12. I've been working since 1956, so I guess I'm used to it now. That's Steve Miller. Hey, I'm Steve Pallick. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, at Steve Pallick. Yesterday, I mentioned that uh, our whole world changed in the 50s when we heard these words. <laughs> That's Richard Penniman, the late Little Richard. Morning, I'm Steve Pallick. Steve Miller is our root salute artist this morning. He was born in Milwaukee. His family moved to Dallas, and that's where he went to high school. Actually, he had a band there. Youngster. Well, let's talk more about his history here. When Steve Miller was a kid, his father, a doctor, had a hobby, tape recording. A hobby that would change Steve's life forever when Les Paul and Mary Ford came to perform in his hometown. Steve Miller's parents stood up for Les Paul and Mary Ford at their wedding. That's how close they were. And that tape recording you heard about, well, it was put to use. At the age of five, here's Steve Miller with Les Paul. You want to know something? You've got a good, good voice there. But I like it very much. We all like it, didn't we? I, I think you should keep singing like that. That's good. That's what I used to do when I was a little guy. Oh, you don't want to get embarrassed. We all sing and play. Are you a perfectionist, or are you comfortable with trying along the way? Steve, I, I think of a perfectionist as a person with a disease. Uh, I know that I'm not going to make it perfect, so I have no intention of coming out with something that's perfect. That is Les Paul. This is the guy he mentored. Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots from 96.5 WKLH. We heard people watching as I sailed from season four to join some crazy ladies in a game of the show. 96.5 WKLH. Rock and Roll Roots. That's our Roots salute artist this morning, Steve Miller, your saving grace. My dad uh, was a tape recorder nut, and he um, had a tape recorder right after World War II. This is like 1949, and Les came to Milwaukee, was doing, uh, was putting his act together with Mary Ford, and uh, 
my dad introduced himself. They were working in a club and said he had a tape recorder and brought the tape recorder down and started recording them while they were putting their act together. They came out to the house to listen to the tapes. They became very good friends. My dad was the best man at their wedding. Les taught me my first chords. And at the same time, he was just inventing multi-track recording and a solid body guitar. And so I was a five-year-old kid and I just picked it all up and started playing guitar. Speaking of friends, when Steve Miller moved with his family down to Texas, went to high school with Boz Skaggs. They had a band together, and then Stephen Boz came back to Wisconsin to go to University of Wisconsin in Madison, where they also hooked up with Ben Sidra. It's a lot of talent. You know, we worked on two albums together back in the 60s. We grew up together. I taught Boz how to play guitar, and he played in, in my high school band and in my college band. You know, then he developed his own, you know, his own sensibilities, his own taste, and, and we got to a point where we were arguing about what we were going <laughs> to record all the time, and finally one day I just said, Boz, please, feel free. You know, go go record what you want to record. <laughs> Steve Miller. Rock and Roll Roots on 96.5 WKLH, Milwaukee's hometown rock. 96.5 WKLH, Rock and Roll Roots. That's our Root Salute artist this morning, Steve Miller. I've got two questions for you. One, why can politicians and some newscasters use the uncensored version of the word bullcrap, as Steve Miller did in Jet Airliner, but I can't? And uh, question number two, where did he get that song? Question number one, I can't answer. Question number two, I can. This is the original version of Jet Airliner. Here's Steve Miller. Well, Jet Airliner was a song that uh, was written by Paul Pina, who's a really great guitar player and songwriter who uh, should have uh, had a big time career but had a lot of bad luck. And we got together and worked on this song, and uh, it's the song that we usually close the show with. You know, the audience really loves it. Everybody loves it. Jet Airliner. Here's Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots. WKLA, Rock and Roll Roots. That's a Roots salute artist this morning, Steve Miller, Jet Airliner. If you ever wondered why there was all that synthesizer noise at the beginning of it, Steve Miller's a smart guy. He called that threshold or uh, space intro. And he's done it more than once because he realized he got publishing rights and royalties because that's played as two songs. Smart guy. This is what they considered outrageous, that we would own our own publishing, our own rights to our own material, that they would give us a, an advance that would allow us to, you know, make a record. And, you know, we were like walking around going, you know, if we just had $60,000, we could record for six weeks. And we were 22 years old, you know, and they were going, nobody would do that. And then finally, because all the record companies were in this feeding frenzy in San Francisco, they just wanted to sign anything from San Francisco. It was like sharks swimming in the water. And I was surrounded by 14 of them, and I got this really tough criminal lawyer, Dick Hodge, a real good friend of mine, right, to deal with these guys. <laughs> Steve Miller on Rock and Roll Roots from 96.5 WKLH. Six five WKLH Rock and Roll Roots. That's some serious stuff. She bought to do my mama mama from Steve Miller and the Joker album. It was my seventh album with Capitol Records. They didn't care about what I was doing at all. And um, I made the record in a couple of weeks and I turned it in and I went out and did a 60 city tour. And the last thing I said to him was like, um, 
um, you know, try and have some albums in the stores and the cities that I'm actually sure. working in. Yes. You know, it was always that kind of a fight. That's Steve Miller. Happy Mother's Day to you. This is of Rock and Roll Roots. I'm Steve Pallick. Thanks for being here. Thanks to Dave Jam Rosie for pre-production assistance. Thanks to our friends at We Energies and Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. Meryl and me will join you next. And I'll leave you with our Roots salute artist this morning, Steve Miller. A Milwaukee native on Milwaukee's hometown rock. 96.5 WKLH. Have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday, okay? Thanks. I was driving down the main track one night. On the other time, chick, she was so built to strike. She stopped with her eyeglass. My love. Told her she could have a world of my girl. She turned around. And with the fact, she said, this ain't no circus and I don't.